Highness, this way, please. Please, have some tea. So this is where Ninghe used to live? Highness, not exactly. This is the Chilling Hall, where Imperial concubines live. But now, there are no concubines. It stays empty. It is quiet and peaceful here, suitable for healing. I have also heard that His Majesty hasn't married. That's true. His Majesty just ascended the throne and hasn't had time to select fine women to be his concubines. Where does His Majesty live? Look what happens when you play hero. Of all the guardians and Chen Wu's entourage, you are the only one standing out. Spur of the moment, I just do it. Chong Yi, you. Majesty. What? Uh, what happened to your hand? Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Nothing serious. His Majesty just had dislocated his shoulder. Oh. Uncle, save me some space. Majesty, I was helping. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. When I was taming Gufeng, it was thrilling, terrifying, and dangerous. <laughs> So did you tame yourself? Of course. How did you do it? When I just acquired Rufang, they told me that this horse was fierce. Only a true hero can ride it. I heard it and took off my cape and climbed- Hold on! Why did you take off your cape? Focus. Don't interrupt. Pay attention Majesty. to details. Majesty, Princess Misha is asking to see you. Majesty, the Ningha incident, Jin Wu Princess, entering too soon. These are not good omens. My edict, feast in Zichen Hall. I want to express my gratitude to the warriors for escorting Auntie back. Is father mad because of the rudeness of Misha? <laughs> Misha and Ning He have all humiliated me before. Keeping them alive, it's kind of fun. Please don't be mad and fall into a trap. Oh? Yang Zhe, come here. Father. Hmm. As we know, there's a third player playing a game with us. At this moment, pushing Misha out. There must be a reason. Think about it. Zheng Wu, Zheng's descendants, Jade Pavilion, Ninghe, each move provokes conflicts between you and Majesty. And Princess Misha answers to no one but His Majesty. Not even father. 
She was not intentional. I don't buy it. So you suppose the third person is Prince Chen? If it's not him, he must have involved in these. So you value Prince Chen? Do you know why? Prince Chen and His Majesty are still single. Cause you won't let them. That's true for Prince Chen, but Chi An chose to be single. When he reached twenty, Empress Dowager appointed him a wife. It was Li Duyuan's daughter. Why would I allow the daughter of that mundane old man to become empress? So I pulled some strings and sent Li Duyuan to the south, and this marriage was over. Then later candidates, he simply rejected. Did Chi An fall in love with Li's daughter? Huh. He is waiting, waiting for a wife who can assist him. Li Deyun's daughter can. Princess Misha, can she assist? You? Can you? <laughs> Majesty, I have longed for visiting Hang'an. The flourishing Changmen Palace really amazes me. I want to stay here for a few more days. My auntie's life was saved by you. You can stay for days, or even for years. <laughs> Thank you. I heard that you're a great archer. I'm fond of archery. Could I have a chance? To learn from you? His Majesty's wounded needs to rest. I can do it with you instead. Why you? She's my sword holder, and also my protege. All right, I will compare notes as a sword holder, but. If she lost the competition, I hope that your Majesty could offer me tutelage. You must win. Yes. Yes. Do it well. Don't let me down. Yes, Majesty. According to your order, search the Jingdo post. In the room Misha stayed, found this. Comus. Nothing gets past you. This leather bag indeed has stored Comus. Made in Luzhou.
something wrong with Ningho's wounds, right? No poison. The wound is not deep, but she does not wake up. It's the smell of kumas. Alcohol. Was she drunk? Once after wash, the smells and signs thin out. But why did they come here? Once in the palace, they can't ply her with drinks. No need to ply. She won't wake up. What do you mean? Too much alcohol and loss of blood caused stroke and put her in a coma. Those quacks. They can't even find out the cause. Are you not the third player in the dark? In your eyes, am I a vile person who does whatever it takes to achieve goals, even harming my own family? Majesty, Princess Misha has fired seven shots, and Roy, not a single one. You don't strike back, belittling me? No, I dare not. Your arrows is lighting fast. I have trouble dodging, let alone retaliating. Don't quibble. I don't believe I can't force you to shoot an arrow. Five hundred feudatories in Jinwu. Liu Misha may be the princess. It's Sun Lie who gives the order, though. All these days, Sun Lie has been staying in Hangan Post and never gets out. Then who has these feudatories been answering to these days? I have caught two feudatories for interrogation. Their stories don't match, but there's one thing in common. They all have one counselor. A counselor? Majesty, our girl's got skills. But for Manxi, she indeed made some progress. As for Misha... What? Nothing. Princess Mija, your archery is impressive indeed. Where did you learn it from? 
Your Majesty is flattering me. The archery of our people has always been good. True. Drawing you. Thank Her Highness for her mercy. Thank you, Highness. Highness! Highness! Forgive me. Majesty, please allow our early leave. Princess, please wait. Okay, all right. I know what you're going to say. I used the trick auspicious beginning of the counselor, and the majesty has found out. I know I was wrong. That's Hanrui. It's just a bodyguard. If you can't stand a bodyguard, how can you be the empress of great Shin? You... None of your business. <laughs> I dare not. As for today, please think carefully how to tell the counselor. Ah, oh, suddenly you... It's all Cheng Rui's fault. Thank you for saving me. Auspicious beginning. Hmm? What does that mean? Misha's last three shots at you. A good auspicious beginning. It has a name. How did you know? I need to see Misha now. Yes. You stay here. What? Why? I'm the sword holder. I need to protect you. Can't you. Go. Listen to me. But, uh, I won't. Don't leave. I won't. <laughs> Just say I can't go with him. Why is he being so mysterious? <sighs> Roy, the Duke sent people here. His Majesty has left. Not for him, but for you, little Roy. Me? Lord, Chen Ruiyi is here. Greetings, Duke Chu. What's the Lord asking me for? It seems recently you have progressed in your Kung Fu. Cheng Shi has taught you real skills instead of flamboyant ones. Pardon me. I fail to understand. <laughs> you have potential indeed. No wonder Yanja gives you a way out time after time. However, Misha studies under a master. She is surely better than you. If you have another chance to compete, you cannot afford to be careless. You can leave now. Yanja, please, see her out. Yes. yes. This is Everbright Palace. Best place to enjoy the moon. <laughs> Indeed. Stars at arm's reach. And a perfect place for conversation. <gasps> Do you have something to ask me? Hmm. 
Who taught you the auspicious beginning? Nothing gets past you. It's counselor. What's his purpose? Hmm. Guess. No. You better tell me now. Your Majesty has seen my kung fu. How does it compare to your sword holder? She's not as good as you now. But in the future, she will surpass you. <laughs> will she? But she's alone, and I have eighty thousand fine soldiers comparable to the heavenly army. Moreover, our army is strong and fierce. One can fight a hundred. Even your heavenly army can hardly compare. Is that a threat? Mm -mm. I'm showing your Majesty my dowry. Dowry. Mm. Is it your intention or the Counselor's? Mine and the Counselor's. The military power of Great Shing is controlled by an eunuch. Courtiers are all cowards. Mostly on the fence. Feudatories have their own rules. Such a state of flux. Majesty, your brother, the late emperor, didn't have a proper empress. So the Jalu incident became a debacle. If your majesty is willing to marry me, then the general army is at your service. Shameless. How can His Majesty agree? Okay. I agree. You agree? Hmm? However, before we take action, I need to see the Counselor. <sighs> okay. Good. Go back and rest. <sighs> see you, Your Majesty. Come out. <clears throat> Majesty. What's with the luck? I thought only Yan Zhi uses honey trap. I never expected your majesty would do too. <laughs> so you spied on me and criticized me? Oh, no, I'm your sword holder. I'm supposed to be by your side all the time. Uh, majesty, are... Are you really going to marry her? You would make such a big sacrifice. What's this? Huh? This? Uh, Qiu Ziliang gave it to me. He summoned me and tested my kung fu. He said that her kung fu is better, that I should be careful. That's it? Yes. I'm wondering... I don't know what he is planning. Let's go. Hmm? Where are we going? To find Auntie Ningho. Oh. Uh. 
You can all leave. Father, what's wrong? Today, during the competition between Chung Ruyi and Misha, I was thinking, what if Left Knight never shot you? It'd be great. Unable to learn Kung Fu, I failed you. Chung Ruyi is very talented. It's a good move that you want to recruit her. But I can't really take her in. She's now just an informer around Xi'an. Have it ever occurred to you? What if this informer wins over His Majesty? I don't understand why Father summoned Chen Ruoyu today. Please enlighten me. Cheng Ruoyi is good at Kung Fu, and it's a good move to place her around His Majesty. But she's also a beautiful girl. Putting her around the young Emperor could be a problem. I don't think this will be an obstacle in my way to be Empress. Really? When I first saw her three months ago, I didn't expect that. Her Kung Fu would progress so quickly. <laughs> Actually, what I want to say is to destroy a powerful enemy is easy. Before they become stronger, eradicate them. Understand? Yes, I understand. All right. Go back now. Keep an eye on Yan Zhe. Majesty. Uncle, how's Auntie? You're saying they first used corn mist to make Auntie drunk, and then stabbed her, making her lose a lot of blood, which led to a coma. Do you have evidence? If not for Yanzhe's keen sense of smell, I wouldn't have found out. But, Your Majesty, we can't be sure Zhen Wu was behind this. Doing so won't benefit them. Unless they want to wage a war with us. I heard you. For the next few days, please take care of Auntie. I'll find out the truth and do her justice. Yes. You can leave. Yes. You all leave. Sorry, yeah. Come in. Yes. Majesty.
Is it beautiful? Um, yes, it is. I'm asking you about the flowers. Huh? Uh, they are beautiful, too. Hmm. Oh. Um. Hmm. So, these flowers... What do you think of it? Mm, no idea. These are the national flowers. That means the Empress. Me? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that, Chu Ziliang. It's insightful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, he he's prone to suspicion. Chiu Zuliang is throwing olive branches. He's saying if you want to be the Empress, he can help you. No. And at the same time, he's warning me. But who gets to be the Empress? It's up to him. Oh. Listen to me, Chen Ruyi. You are Violet Bureau sword holder. You and I would never fall in love and have a relationship. I'll remember that. Leave me. Yes. Right now is of utmost importance, do you know? I don't. <sighs> you, 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 listen to me. I send people to keep an eye on the people of Jen Wu. And I receive shocking news. Oh. So, uh, the princess, Princess Misha. Uh-huh. She wants to marry his majesty. <gasps> mm. Hmm? Hmm? Mm hmm So you know? Yeah, of course I know. You are not anxious? Worried? Why should I worry? <gasps> Uncle, do you also think I'm having a relationship with His Majesty? I'm telling you, no such thing. But you two, you, you did... Shh! That was an act. I thought you knew it. An act? Mm -hmm. Anyway, whomever His Majesty's marrying, or who is marrying him, has nothing to do with me, got it? No. Oh my, why are all of you like this? I can't stand it! Well, that... was great acting. Come out. Majesty. What are you doing? The peace holder wanted me to ask something. But now, I already have the answer. Oh. Do you? Lord thinks that your friend of Chun Ruoyi, but he has other arrangements for your empress. Peaceholder sent me to corroborate, and your majesty has obviously made your choice. I never loved Chun Ruoyi, nor have I ever wanted her to be my empress. Your majesty is very smart. So, I will go back and report. So who is 
the ideal empress for the Duke. I think your majesty already knew who she would be. Have a look. Majesty. You made a habit of eavesdropping. Uh, no, I thought I thought I was an assassin, so I followed here. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. So what did you hear? Majesty, I'm suspicious he's sent by Tenshi to spy on us. Uh, Majesty, I'm definitely not a spy. Majesty. She has stalked me every now and then, and the name of protection done shady business. She has other intentions and can't be trusted. You... Majesty, is that how you think of me? The Pavilion 300 has arrived. Starting tomorrow, you go back to the Bureau, the comedy. When I need you, you'll be summoned. Majesty! Go now. Yes, Your Majesty. proven. He was behind all that. What about the other one? He didn't come with the Zheng Wu feudatories this time. And I'm sending people to find him. Be quick. My patience has run out to be on a show with Misha. I'm afraid that you have to put up with it a bit longer. They don't move, we don't move. Chou Zhiliang is also scrutinizing Zen Wu's every move. If we can take this opportunity and merge Jade Pavilion with Violet Burrow, the Burrow will rise again for real. In my opinion, you should tell Miss Chang it's for the best, so that she won't misunderstand you. Today, Xiu Zaliang used Peony to test me. He was questioning me. The time I go into let you or you be the sword holder, or the future empress. Before then, it has never occurred to me. And what about now? Now I keep reminding myself not to think about it. So, Chen Ruyu is not just a sword holder to the emperor. your sword and your last chance 
Who would be suspicious of his own sword? You have risked it all with everything and everyone on the stake and earned your seat on board. This is your one and only chance for your gambit if you show a glimpse of weakness, sluggishness, hesitation. You will lose. I 